Hey guys, how are you? Hope you're all doing very well. This evening I'm going to be doing another movie review. This movie is a science fiction horror film from Canada, English language, released in the year 2014, directed by the Vicious Brothers, and this film is called Extraterrestrial. So Extraterrestrial is about a group of friends who go out to this cabin in the woods one uh, for one weekend, and then one evening they see something falling out of the sky and it explodes very close to where the cabin is. So they run to the to the actual crash site, thinking that it's an aeroplane, but to their horror they realise it's a UFO. And some footprints near this crash site is actually leading into the woods. So they believe that what was ever inside this spacecraft have now, has now seeked refuge in the shadows. So they don't know whether or not this entity is in fact aggressive or peaceful, but they're going to find out very soon and the whole situation is going to escalate out of control. So what happens and what's in store for these friends is something you're going to have to find out for yourself because that's as far as I'm going with my synopsis. Now my thoughts on Extraterrestrial. I wanted to see this film for two reasons. Number one, I'm a massive fan of alien style films. So alien horror films, I think they do a very good job at playing on the mentality and the paranoia of what's out there. Are we alone? Uh, you, if, if aliens actually arrived, would they be peaceful? Would they be hostile? And I think it's a great platform for a horror film. And, and when these alien horror films actually get it right, they're very, very effective. I watched a movie a few years ago called Alien Abduction, and a lot of people hated that film, but I actually really liked it. I thought it was very, very enjoyable, and it was just something that really creeped me out. So coming into extraterrestrial, I really wanted to have that same feeling of alien abduction. And another reason why I wanted to see it was the Vicious Brothers were directing it. Now, the Vicious Brothers were responsible for another film called Grave Encounters. Now, that was a, a found footage horror film, whereas extraterrestrial was more of a traditional film. It has some found footage element, but it's mainly a different style of movie. So it actually showcased that these guys aren't one-trick ponies, and they can actually make different styles of movies. So because I somewhat enjoyed Grave Encounters, I thought that was a little bit overrated, but I enjoyed it for what it was and so I was really really keen to see what they could actually deliver in the science fiction horror world and after seeing the film I will say that this was an incredibly entertaining film I had a lot of fun watching it and I actually really really liked it and I think this is a movie that is definitely a popcorn horror film which excuses a lot of the problems that the movie has now a lot of people hate this film and for that I'm sure that a lot of people are going to be put off but I finally got the chance to watch it and I as I said I really liked it for what it was it's just a no-brain sort of really entertaining horror film that doesn't let go from first minute to the last minute so it takes you on a ride and it's just a really really enjoyable ride and I think the main spooky sort of quality that this film has was the fact that you don't know what's out there and this is direct these directors are actually playing on that and it plays on it very well because the majority of this film is the anticipation of the lead up with the aliens are they going to be peaceful are they going to be hostile and when they seek refuge in the woods I thought it was a great setting especially at night because you didn't see where the threat was coming from and so I thought that played really well so it's a deeply psychological psychological horror film, but then all of a sudden it goes into a straight out insane horror film. So there's two sort of elements that I thought work off each other very well, and I never found myself bored. And so you've got some really incredible set pieces that are helped from very good sound effects. This movie does rely on its sound effects quite considerably, and those sound effects, if you turn it up very loud, will actually make you jump. And they're not really jump scares, but it's just the way it's been used. After you see the film, you'll know what I mean, is that it was very effective in what it was doing. I thought the colour paletting was very good, very vivid colours. So whether it's during the day where you've got the, the bright green of the forest or during the evening when they're having this run-in with the aliens, it goes bright red and it almost feels surreal. It feels like they're on a completely different planet. And so when the two worlds are, colli are colliding, it's just incredibly uh, riveting to see how this is all going to unfold. And I thought the ending was fantastic. I just, I really liked the way it finished. And it actually summed up basically what the film was actually trying to do. I'm not going to tell you what happens because obviously that's the spoiler, but I really like the way it finished off. It just gave it that grand sort of stance, uh, sense, and it just it's just an insane experience. And I thought the insanity was a really good way to cap off that really strong psychological anticipation that the movie had. Having said that, it's not a movie that's perfect, and it doesn't come without its problems. Basically, the biggest problem to this film is the, the fact that it's very generic in its, in its way of the characterization. I thought the characters were very annoying. I didn't care about them whatsoever. And it doesn't really make a massive attempt to actually gain any likability to these characters. The main uh, female in this film, I didn't really like her, the way she treated her love interest. I just thought, okay, well, I'm not really into this. And the rest of the characters just don't have any likable qualities to them. So if you can actually root for the people in a film, I think it can be much more scary. And yes, I know this film is a popcorn horror film. It's not trying to win Oscars. It's not trying to hit you with a lot of depth. But just a little bit of depth to these characters and somewhat likable sort of qualities to these characters would have made the overall thrilling and scary scenes even more scary because you get that fear factor. You don't want bad things to happen 
happen to them. But when they're basically cannon fodder and you don't really care, I just thought to myself, all right, yes, it does hit you on entertaining uh, on entertaining value. And yes, it's very self-aware because it's trying to be entertaining, but I don't think it realized how good it really could have been if it actually fleshed out these characters a little bit better. And then you've also got the design of the aliens. I thought the design of the aliens was a little bit lackluster. Didn't It lacked inspiration and creativity. And so I was a little bit let down by that. They almost looked a little bit comical. And so when you actually finally see what's happening, it's not quite as scary as the anticipation really suggests. So I think a little bit more time and attention to the actual look of the aliens, plus a little bit more time into the characters, it would have made this an absolutely brilliant film. But having said that, as I said, it is a popcorn horror film. If you're bored and you want to watch something that doesn't, you don't want your brain tested out too much, then Extraterrestrial is definitely a film I would recommend. I enjoy this thoroughly. And I was surprised by that because a lot of people don't like this film for reasons, yeah, each to their own. But for me, judging a film based on what I like, I can say that I really liked Extraterrestrial and I'm glad I picked it up on Blu-ray and it's definitely a film that I'll be replaying quite a few times in the future. So overall, for Extraterrestrial, go out there and see it. I'm going to give it three and a half stars. Alright guys, that's it for my review. Hope you enjoyed it. Till next time you watch your movies and I'll see you later. Bye.